What's going on farm dogs back with another YouTube video uh, this is the second part of bean harvest and I mentioned in the in the last video there's gonna be a video about two combines and uh, I think we're getting ready to fire up both combines we got going there the other day of course there's one and then there's another one sitting around the back there so we're gonna get both these fired up and uh, get them going in the same field Kind of a cold morning, damp morning, and let's catch up with Dumb and Dumber here. See what they're doing. He told me I haven't called pull up here yesterday. <laughs> so after a little bit of maintenance, we're up and rolling. Uh, about 200 acres here in this field. So dad's starting there. Neighbors up there, looking pretty good. Beans are dry, really dry, almost too dry, but hey. You know, the farm dogs are going to keep on keeping on, so let's get after it today and, and get some acres done. So hauling beans, uh, of course like that with two combines, keeps two auger carts pretty going pretty good so here's Rod with my first load he'll fill the one hopper and then the other auger cart will come and fill fill me up the rest of the way Well, that's a good way to start. Just got a call from Dad and Rod, and uh, they ran a ran something through the combine, so it's jammed up and won't let anything run. So I'm gonna run to the shop real quick and grab some tools, and then we're gonna get that fixed and get to rolling here again. Thought that caused that much of a problem. Look at the teeth caught it. Yeah. Look. That's what <coughs> Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Good teeth. <coughs> Good stuff. As you can see, farm dogs, that's not supposed to go through a combine. So that's what we just spent the whole time right there, as you've seen, to fix. So hopefully they're going through, they're kind of cleaning the head, making sure everything's good. So let's see if we're ready to rock and roll again. So 
here we go guys we're at the elevator now uh, getting dumped the easy way they got a couple guys that come and dump you and all you gotta do is kind of sit here so easy easy for the truck driver but uh, nope this is what we've been doing with beans as you've seen in the other videos of corn harvest uh, we put everything in the bins and then we bring all once we fill the bins of Marvin's we come to the elevator beans is kind of different uh, we started out in the first video there you've seen we were putting some in the bin that would be dad's dad stores some beans in a in some of the older bins down at Marvin's and then of course after that Marvin has zero bins left so of course he goes through the elevator and gets storage that way and gets uh, and we just sell them right out of the field so kind of different on beans there but it's it's all the same thing but uh, we're moving right along uh, we kind of had that hiccup there where we had to work on the combine which is which kind of kind of sets the whole mood you know yeah, we've been going hard this whole time and every, everything's been going smooth and we have a problem and it really shows your emotions come out because everyone's tired right now and to see how everyone reacts and I think we handled it pretty good it's a it's a mistake everyone makes them and uh, kind of a freak deal almost almost a bad deal but uh, everything's going good now we got both combines up and going again so we'll get unloaded here We'll get back to the field. They should be loading our other truck, and we're we're gonna get rocking and rolling here. So let's get unloaded here and get back to the field. absolutely crazy how uh, when the moisture dies and that sun goes down how hard it is to cut beans and as you guys can see out there there's no wind the air gets thick and the dust just sits on the, on them combines and it's just it's just nuts so once it gets once that sun goes down it's hard to cut beans you really got to have it windy and all that kind of stuff to cut, cut beans because it it's just pain in the butt but uh we're knocking this field right out, and we got another load of beans. So let's get this one. We're back, farm dogs. Uh, not day two of harvest, but uh, second day we've been running two combines. Uh, we've been knocking it out, so everything's been going good. I'm just back here at the elevator, uh, getting unloaded, and heck, I'm having to drive the manual today. Our two, our two regular trucks are automatics, and of course Smurf, the old blue truck here, is our backup, and we're running three trucks, two auger carts, and two combines. So kind of a, kind of an operation today. We got enough people and got everyone going. So nope, I'll get this load of beans unloaded. We'll get back and show some more action of them two combines going. Marvin in the auger wagon tractor today. Pulled him out of the tillage tractor. He's running the auger wagon today. We put an extra semi on the road, so. Uh. Look out my other window. We got Chad and Burdett ready to unload. Busy day, busy day. Back at it, more beans. Marvin's ready to go. Can't hardly keep up with him. Got a little more moisture these 
is almost 11 percent so can't beat that right now we've been cutting nine percent beans but not today unloading on the go that's a pretty good shot out that window tractor and our other auger wagon where Deb brings his combine and we try to go fast for three or four days a year together so going good no you can't see anything but this is the last round I don't know. We might not have to come back. You might not have to come back through, Jason. I don't know. I can't tell. I say, I guess I need to slow down make sure we're not going to clip each other here. Getting awful close on the last round. You don't want to clip us? if you didn't back out. Looks like it's going to be about five feet in between us, and it? Five or six feet. wagon operator today. Today is Thursday. This is kind of our switchover day for everybody. So here we go. Good view. Picking our grain up on one end of the field. Running our past on the other end. Around the horn. bad out today. We got a little bit of a breeze and these beans don't seem to be too dirty so not bad. Zoomed way too in it didn't I? trying to bend.
So there you go, farm dogs, freak accident there. Dad just hit a inch rebar in the ground, an old fence post and all that and bent the crap out of his head. So we got it all together and we should be able to turn it on and see if everything's gonna work right here. Thank God for our good help. We got it done, we got it done. Deep breath, farm dogs. Wow, what a week. It's been crazy. We've had a lot of a lot of stuff go wrong here in the bean harvest, but hey, it's all about how you how you handle things and, and keep going. I think as long as you long as the operation's moving, you're getting stuff done, it makes you feel good. So there's dad. We got 20 acres of beans left here to cut. Uh, we stayed up last night and we filled all the trucks and this auger cart. We got Smurf running over there and we brought our other auger cart in here and dad's just kind of going to fill up the hopper. We're waiting for the elevator to open at one o'clock. So once that opens, we'll be able to, we'll be able to take some trucks in and get them empty and get back out here and finish this. Cause my God, finally the beans are done. Uh, earliest we've ever been done, but hopefully, hopefully he can still go there and I'm gonna hop in Smurf over here and head for the elevator and let's get this freaking done. Just like that, there's the end. Bean harvest of 2024 is finally, finally done. Bean head off. It's gonna sit there for a while till next year. Dad just cleaning off the combine here, so. How's it feel? We're not done yet. There you go, farm dogs. Uh, hopefully that gives you a better idea. Uh, this, this YouTube video, you kind of got to see us down in the dumps. Uh, things didn't go right in some, some instances and then others we were knocking beans out left and right so just how harvest goes you can't predict how it's going to go or what's going to go wrong and just how everything go but uh, like dad mentioned we still got some corn left so we're not all the way done as he's going right there we've got about 300 acres left so we're going to keep on keeping on and knock this stuff out uh, but for this video I think that's it so uh, keep liking subscribe to the YouTube channel, comment on the video, and keep on keeping on farm dogs. See you in the next video.